Hello, um, in this video I want to talk about styling links um, and in doing so um, we'll introduce pseudo classes. Okay, so here we have our example and if I set the color in the body save and refresh we'll see that everything um, updated the the h1 inherited from body the h2 inherited from body the paragraph inherited from body but the links behaved a little differently so some elements for example um, links and um, buttons do not inherit color automatically. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the other thing to know about links though is that they have behaviors, interactive behaviors. So when I go over them, you'll see the cursor changes. If I go to this link and I go back, the color has changed, right? If I tab, they um, it goes, the, the, the browser goes to the links. So the links are a little special. Okay, so the first thing is um, inherit. So I can change the default behavior of color inheritance on a link by using the inherent property. So I do this and I save and I refresh. Now they're all orange. And that's fine. However, now I can't see the links anymore. I mean, they're still underlined. Um, and there's no rollover state. So let's, let's comment this out for a sec. And let's look at pseudo classes. So pseudo classes um, are used in links to define their interactivity. So if I do hover and I set the color to um, yellow, save, refresh. Now when I roll over, they turn yellow, okay? There are five pseudo classes for a link. And so let me, let me put, list them for us in order. So we have hover we just looked at. There's also a link. Um, there's visited. There's hover. There's focus. And finally, there's active. Okay, five. Um, if you're going to use them, you need to use them in order. Um, so link is its um, style um, before any interaction. So if I say color, um, let's make it crimson. Let's just do red. Save, refresh. That's the default. Um, next we have visited. If you notice, there's two red and one a different color. Visited is the browser telling you that you've went to this link before. So if I go, let's see to this one, it goes to my website and I go back, now that's changed um, its color as well. You see this a lot when you're doing searches in Google. So visited, um, we can say black. Next, we have hover, which we covered. Hover is the rollover. Focus is a lot like hover, 
um, but it's used for accessibility. So focus is if you tab to that um, link, what does it look like? So this is um, re reduced mobility. And then finally active is what happens when you actually click on the link. So I have my rollover, I'll oh, save, refresh, rollover, and then when I click, it turns a color for just a second. Okay, so the important thing to note though is they have to be in order if you want to use all this functionality. So for example, if I grab hover and I put it before visited, my hover state isn't working anymore on the visited links. Uh, so the, the order is important. Now, the good news is, for the most part, um, a lot of this functionality is not really common practice anymore. So if I was to style a link, I would do it like this. I would say a no pseudo classes. Um, and we want to have some separation from the background. Otherwise, you don't know that there's a link there. I would set the text decoration to none um, because, you know, the underline is a little distracting visually. And then I would set both the hover and using a comma, I can say, and the focus to the same value. And that's links.